Mama Margaret it is bigger than Mama Lucy times 2 tunamalizana kesho na waz, uh, waziri uh, na kumicha um, mambo mengi sana kwa afya inaendelea community health promoters ndio tulikuwa kwanza kwanza kuwalipa 7480 of them wako kila mahali Nairobi tulikuwa tunalipa 1300 tumefurahi sana rais wetu ameongezea sasa 2400 wako katika kila mita around 750000 households wanaangaliwa ile mambo ndogo ndogo watu wa biashara wamefurahi niliwapatia ahadi ya one license unified business permit tayari tumetekeleza tulisema watoto wetu watakula na najua tazungumza hiyo baadaye tuna tunawalisha katika shule 184000 of them wanakula so mambo mengi ile baros Laki, lakini madaktari bwana umetoa kauli ya kwamba utawafuta kazi sio kama ni kesho <laughs> daktari <laughs> ambaye amesoma miaka 5 miaka 10 hmm. mambo ya madaktari ni muhimu kwanza madaktari ni watu muhimu sana kwa society yetu na ndio maana um, mambo yote ambayo wamekuwa nahitaji kutoka mwajiri wao ambaye ni county ya Nairobi tumetekeleza kama Nairobi Najua watu usahau ya kwamba health ni kitu ya counties it is devolved yeah but was it supposed to be devolved kuna watu wanasema kwamba sakaja magavana wote hamtaweza ah tunaweza ukiona ile mambo inaendelea za madaktari zirejere eh, zirejeshwe national government wale walipigania ugatuzi wata kitelefiano na wewe kidogo hawatakubaliana na wewe kwa sababu mambo mengi yalikuwa haendelei wakati yote ilikuwa inapangwa hapa hii nyumba hii inaitwa afya house hapa nyuma yetu maeneo mengi sasa hizi kwa mfano kuna madawa katika hospitali yetu ya Nairobi yote na ikiisha hivi ama ikienda kuisha inaongezwa tulipata bill ya 185 million tulilipa na tunazidi kustock hospitali zetu tuko na cities kanza kwanza azikuwa Nairobi um, ukienda mama Lucy Mbagathi and we want to do placement kwa hospitali zaidi Um, so madaktari ni watu muhimu sana. Waligoma kwa sababu ya mambo kadhaa. Ya kwanza mambo ya interns kuletwa kwa hospitali. Interns sio counties wanaleta, ni national government, you know. Uh, number two, mambo ya insurance, wanataka comprehensive medical insurance. Nairobi has the best comprehensive insurance across the country. Kila mwaka natumia karibu bilioni mbili kwa staff wangu. Ya wako na insurance nzuri kabisa wewe na familia yako. Number three, walikuwa na shida ya salary delays. Sio Nairobi kwa makaunti zingine. Wa Nairobi wanapata. In fact kama kuna daktari ama mtu wa Nairobi anafanya kazi na kuna pesa yako anakuambia tujalipe anakudanganya. Wanalipwa on time. Yeah. So, watu wadiki wadiki jenga kwa wazikwambia bado hapana hiyo kanjo ya zamani. Mm. E, ingine ilikuwa promotions. Watu wa Nairobi wanatoa madaktari the process we've gone to me promote a certain eh, kada, a certain job group ile common kada zinaendelea. So ukiangalia employer wako hauna shida na yeye. But uko na shida kuna wale kuna shida na employer mwingine. Kwa mfano, nyinyi mnafanya Royal Media. Mkisikia watu wa nation wako na shida wamegoma, mtagoma pia. Si wewe employer wako uko sawa na yeye. So naambia wa madaktari wetu wa Nairobi, watu wa Nairobi mimi niko na contact nao kuwapatia afya. Tumeka pesa nyingi, the biggest budget. Hauna shida na sisi. Na tunakulipa. Sasa ugome to be in solidarity na madaktari wengine yet mambo yako Nairobi iko sawa but watu wetu wanakufa kwa hospitali. Juzi nimekuwa eh, midnight I took myself nikijiendesha mwenyewe bila hata camera au anything or a bodyguard even. Midnight nikaenda mbagathi hapa juu. Vile niliingia pande ya maternity wale ambao wanasaidia nurses unajua kuna cases wanafanya wenyewe. Lakini wakaniambia kuna mama ametoka hapa alikuwa amedilate hii ingekuwa emergency hatuwezi. Tukapiga Kenyatta wamegoma kabla tu juu vile tutafanya hiyo familia jo kubabaika wakaita uba wakapeleka umama i don't know if she survived or not that might be a life loss na nikauliza hiyo familia tafadhali i want to know the situation nikatoka hapo nikaenda mama lucy nikapata madaktari wa wawili watatu wamejitokea wamejitokea you know wamejitokezea wamejitolea na kuna madaktari wazuri sana despite the strike wanaji, wanatoka Lakini unasikia yuno ninakuja inawaambia tokeni. Wachane na hawa watu. Because in solidarity with doctors elsewhere with an issue na national government, unasahau ofisi yako na watu wako na wewe employee wako kusawa nawe. Is it right? If I ask you. So, no, ni sawa. Tuweke human resource kwa national government. Human resource ya nini? Hao madaktari wao chini. Kwa ya Minister of Health watoke kwa county. Labda hivi nikwambia shida zao za Nairobi. Hawana hmm. shida na Nairobi so ina shida na kusakaja promotions tunafanya na kuna zile tumeshafanya walitaka wale walikuwa NMS mbeleni tu absorb tukwambia hakuna njia kwa sheria inaitwa absorption 
because lazima nifanye kila kitu kwa kisheria. Si ndio hiyo? Nilikuwa kuna daktari mmoja alikuja akasema hilo governor Sakaja wewe nakupenda nilijua nitakupigia kura kama ukiwa senator na nilijua nitakupigia uwe governor wetu na umekuwa governor wetu. Si utu absorb tu. Nikamwambia kama ulijua utanipigia kura na nafaa mbona basi nilienda kwa kura? Kwa sababu kuna sheria, kuna njia kukuwa governor. Pia kuna njia kuandika daktari. Kuna process. Hao waliandikwa na Public Service Commission na NMS. Tumesema they'll get the first priority to advertise, waandikwe. Hao wenyewe ndio wakatupeleka kotini isimamishwe. Na hiyo kotini hiyo kesi wakashindwa. Koti kasema strike is also illegal. Na hauko kazini. So kwa sababu niko na contact na watu wa Nairobi. Mtu wa Nairobi anataka kujua kuna madaktari ameniandika kazi kufanya hivi. So wale wanataka kufanya na sisi waje kwa hospitali. Kwa hivyo wale wanaokutazama ndio hizi e, jenga endelevu. Wale wanaokutazama warudi kazi siku gani? Warudi kazi saa hizi. Hospitali hospitali zote kazi ni hours. Because umetoa statement ya kwamba eh nilisema natumia ile procedure procedure. Eh kuanzia rini? Kuanzia Monday. Monday ni kesho. Eh Rosio. Rosio ni kabiria kwa card. Rosio. Because it is absconding duty. Kwa kosa kwenda kazini siku tisa sijai kosa ukikosa hautaambiwa kitu sijai kosa na una sababu ya kutokuwa kazini because we are public servants all of us unalipo na, na wananchi hao ambao ni wagonjwa na kulipa hauna shida na mwajiri wako lakini wenzako wana shida na mwajiri wao uache kazi yako kwa sababu ya shida ambayo ni ya interns in the national government yeah which they think they are sorting it na wasema as we are sorting it justice byra mungai alisema as these things are being resolved morudi kwa hospitali si tuko na sheria kenya kwani kwa na rais akipiga simu wewe sakaja usisikuta watu kama mimi nafuata sheria nafuata sheria sitaki kuvuta mtu kazi nataka watu wafanye kazi na since watu wangu wanataka madaktari kama wale tumeandika hawataki kuwa hapo siniandike wale watakuwa hapo kufanya watu wetu kazi utatoa wadaktari wapi ni wengi nimechukua muda no ni wengi ni wengi ni wengi wame apply tuliweka positions 116 we got almost i think 5 600 applications qualified qualified demos na says ambao wenye wanataka kuja kufanya kazi yeah tired yes kuna madaka they want to work for the people kuna wengi wanaambia wewe please what what to do kazi unaona nasikia vibaya hakuna nataka kuwafuta kazi ili wajiri ambao utawalipa kidogo hapana the salary is in skills kuna SRC uh, guidelines tuko na tayari CBA yetu ambayo tuko na madaktari au lipi mtu kazi ati kama kazi ile unataka the actual skills ambao wanafaa kulipwa kuna wale walikuwa UH, 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 universal health care uh, 143 of them nimesema pia lazima waje because si nzuri kuna madaktari wawili ama nurses wawili ama clinic officers wawili wanafanya the same job lakini wanalipwa tofauti nimesema no to the budget wawe na mshahara the same i really want the best for my doctor i also want more than that the best for my people au Nairobi. Ungekuwa mimi ungefanya haja. Wewe na family yako unapo yeah. kwa unaenda hospitali za county. Tunashukuru Mungu atugonjeka sana. But my work is to make sure the hospital ya county pia is as good as to do that. That is what I'd love. But tunashukuru Mungu kwa afya. Unajua afya inatoka kwa Mungu. Unaweza recommend fit with the Yes, Bagathi? Yes. Wewe kwa daktari? Bagathi, Mama Lucy, Pumwani is now possibly the best maternal hospital. Nimekuona nimekuona hizi hospitali. Yeah. Eh kwa siku kadhaa jana juzi pia ulikuwa huko. Eh bado tueleze tu ni nini ambacho ulikuwa unaenda kuangalia? Nenda kuangalia vile wananchi wanahudumiwa. Kuzungumza nao kuona daktari wangapi wamerudi. Na wengi ambao wamerudi ukiona hata kwa picha ambazo nilitoa si kuwapiga picha kwa sababu hawataki kuonekana na hizi union ionekane ni kama ni wasaliti lakini kwa kwa conscience yao kwa roho yao wanaona wanakosea mm. eh, wananchi mm. na wanakose, wanakosea mwito wao mm. you know kuna wengi tunazungumza nao unajua tuko na neonatal ICU ambao kuna watoto premature wale wamezaliwa kabla ya muda wao mm. wako kwa incubators inaitwa nursery hiyo incubators wanaikuwa hapo wanafaa kuangaliwa throughout nimefurahi sana kuna madaktari wanajitokeza bado na hao nitawapatia zawadi by the way how many scale of 10 by friday level ya friday was around 60% walikuwa wamerudi no thursday i think ya friday the next day kuna kulikuwa na uh, march wanatembea so wengi ambao walikuwa wali au kuja hospitali walenda ku march na wengine in solidarity jana leo wamekuwa kwa hospitali wengi yeah a good number mm. So I have, I have nothing against. So I really want to work. right now. Yeah. Would I be treated? 
you will be treated yeah. and i would advise you siko na camera na hivi after this you enda uongele i think my doctors na most lazima wote tulibadilisha mfumo tuleka ceos unajua zamani hospitali ilikuwa kama level 5 inaongozwa na medical superintendent ambaye ni daktari ama muuguzi ambaye amepatiwa management uh, duty so huyo um, medical superintendent anajua mambo ya afya lakini nilisema acha nilete ceo anaweza kuwa pia ni daktari lakini yeye anafikiria kama chief executive officer kama hapa pagazi pagazi kuna ceo anafikiria kutoka kwa gate akifika hapo line inaenda na namna gani hospitali vitanda ziko choo iko haya kio iko anafikiria 360 degrees supply chain iko namna gani human resource na vile nimeleta au madaktari my friend i have seen a huge au au masiyos i've seen a huge difference like okay. painting hata paint wanafikiria hata neatness maua hata neatness maua eh au madaktari wetu wako na mali ya kunywa chai wako na mali ya kula yao separate workload kwa aje attendance you know it is an institution so sasa ceo kuna ceo alex rungu wako hapo eh bagasi eh, bagasi kuna Christina kupumwani. Ukienda Mama Lucy kuna Alfred Martin kwa kesi. Doing an amazing. So they are not doctors. Some are doctors some are qualified. Kuna moja kuna PhD ya hospital management. Yeah. It's actually a course that is studied. And because of that, hata hiyo hospitali nyingine ambayo tunachukua na um, ambayo inarudi kwa Nairobi, Dunia Nairobi ambayo inafaa kuchukua population ni hapo Korogosho, Kariobangi, eh, Embakasi North. 2 million people around there. Mama Margaret I'll take one of the CEOs as we bring it up to speed we hire an, a new CEO because afi unajua kumekuwa na shida na nashukuru sana rais wetu angalia ma health insurance na mambo kama hiyo unapata mtu watu wamejaribu kwa familia yao wamepata plot wamenunua ngombe wameanza biashara mtu mmoja anakuwa mgonjwa unapata kansa ukiangalia simu yako uko kwa group ngapi ya Harambe ya kutangia mtu kwenda hospitali ama in India it is too much so what the president is doing is the right thing ibidi ilikuwa zamani wao nalipa nhif 500 eh, wala nafagia hapo nje analipa 500 hiyo 500 yake is a big percentage ya mshahara yake na mimi nalipwa labda mshahara ya governor maybe around 700 800000 ama 1 million nalipa the same na huyo mtu mwingine is it right in terms of percentage mm-hmm. so you say the same percentage for everyone so 2.7% wale kuna mshahara ya 1200 na pia 2.7% kwa mshahara wangu it is fair lakini mbona huko na mzigo zaidi too much is given much is expected and then tutaendelea kukua hizo resources to sort out health financing tuta sort out mambo ya information system unapata mtu ameenda eh, mtuini mm. ambao sasa tuna tunabadilisha yeye mama Rito Ruto mm. juu pia ametafuta wafadhili waje waijenge kabisa mtuini hospital iko eneo Uganda eh, iko Dagoreti South okay. yeah mtuini mm. amangalia na daktari mm. amempewa madawa Anaona zimpeleki mzuri. Ai kesho anaamka anaenda bagafi ama ende riruta ama ende popote pengine tasia. Asemi ile dawa amepatiwa, asemi imeangaliwa, abadilishe story yake apo hiyo dawa tofauti zianze kugongana unapata mtu kumpoteza sasa. No matter where you go, x-ray yako iko kwa system. Jina yako iko kwa system. Tunajua umekuwa unaangaliwa. No health management information system. Telemedicine ni tofauti. Telemedicine ile si lazima uje kwa hospitali. Unapiga simu, una explain madaktari wanashika, wanajua hizi symptoms ni nini, wanakutumia mudu. It, 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 it's using a technology. Kwa hivyo unasema kena wa malusi ni mmevunjika mguu kwa yes. mfano. Yes. Nimepigwa picha, nimeambiwa iko hivi hivi. Yeah. Lakini ni pewe madawa nisikie ai anipeleke vizuri. vizuri. Nikuja mbagafi. Yes. So ile report report ya mama malusi itaonekana. Ukishatoa ID yako hivi tu itakuja so we've implemented it and we're doing it in the ministry with the uh, Afya KE mm. so to make implement it in Mama Lucy hospital wamefanya pilot zao of, of, of that um, HMIS mm. the next one is Mbagathi ambao wameanza tulikuwa na trainers of trainers wame trainiwa sasa wana trainers in hospitals zingine tuko na primary care network so hospitali moja kama Mbagathi inashikilia hospitals zingine level 4 inashikilia Kianda 42 inashikilia zile ziko Kibra zinaenda hivyo mpaka that one in community health volunteer mm. so ni primary care network that is how we are looking at it okay. so no matter number madaktar wetu please come even as we talk work let's have trust and good so just talk to them i've been talking ada hiyo siku tuliongea nao na sasa 
tunonge na no, wanarudi wana, lakini wanapigwa pressure tokeni kazi kesho tafadhali kujeni kazi kama mnanisikiza kujeni kazi kesho lakini hutawafuta kazi see that is the last reason i don't want to but i want to treat hata kama tu kama abscord duty no hapana sisi wafuta hapana watu uteleza and they have a right kati mimi nimekuwa chairman wa labor kwa senate nimekuwa chairman wa labor kwa COG nikaachia gavana Mutai Kahiga niliona kazi ya Nairobi siwezi kuwa chairman COG na pia eh, kwa county unajua COG tuko na different committees mm. so i left it said order ni focus na Nairobi but niko kwa hiyo committee and i know the labor rights i know our labor laws the right to associate is there the right to picket is there but there are procedures na sele labor court inasema hapana eh, hii strike eh, eh, call it off murudi pia tusikize kotini. Tusiende tu kotini tutake a judgment in favor of us. Yeah? But ultimate unajua mgomo ya madaktari si kama ya matatu. Ama kama ya maaskari, you know, it's different. It's life and death immediately. Yeah? Kuna mtu ambaye tofauti yake kuishi na kufa. Ni daktari kuwa masikue hapo. No. So kama wewe daktari na mambo yake inaangaliwa please rudi. Sawa. Nataka rudi. nataka tu. <laughs> punga unyunyu kidogo toikelie o hanini yeah. tobeso kanigo twiratirire yeah. ndona wekirete tha igire eh hey. uh, wekirete tha igire niki uh, asa sio 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 ku flows ya ya kwanza hii ni saa tu ya kawaida lakini hii utatwambia oh is special one utatwambia ya kuna mizi mdio mabli kama gavana alikataa tukirejea tutakuwa tukiangalia pia Eh, hali ya elimu katika kaunti ya Nairobi okay. elimu iko vipi mambo yanaendeleaje mm. eh, watoto mwapatia chakula mm. je ni chakula tu ama ni mambo yapi ambayo yanaendelea ni tafadhali ya kidirebe ni session ya Inoro TV ni gado nyingi muno muno ni kuthina na kuikarania na ithwe guko ni aji agutata no gai ya kirio giteini ni to kumenya the dishina county initiative is set to change lives promote nutrition and will keep students in school Our children are missing a third of the education. Their parents are stressed. Tumi ni ngumu. Hiyo stress ya kufikiria mtoto atakula nini nimeitoa sasa kwa wazazi. From the 28th of August, every day all children in public primary schools in Nairobi will get a hot meal at lunchtime. In June, the governor and the president commissioned 10 central kitchens across the county that will be operationalized in time for the children to get a nutritious meal by the third term. yake imefika si mabondo tunapiga ishuguri mayuthi we are co-workers with god in feeding the future and so in every meal that we feed we are directly inputting in the future of our country so thank you so much for your support and we look forward to working with you in feeding the future watoto wetu wote wa primary school katika Nairobi county watakuja shuleni watapata chakula shuleni kaunti ya Nairobi watatoa pesa na national government we will match shilling for shilling what the county of Nairobi will be giving so that we can have all our children in school
na kuambia vijana ya kwamba take advantage of the facilities because our intention in the social halls is to equip this social hall as well as the others with modern state of the art equipment kwa sababu najua hapa tutakuwa na future stars ambao watatoka katika hii kiwanja tunataka kuran academy hapa tuko na academy ya soka tuko na academy ya chess tuko na academy ya boxing na tuko na academy ya basketball na mimi your excellency i would encourage na najua wewe hapo ndio roho yako iko tusaidie hawa vijana wetu ndio waweze kupata kitu ya kuwafanya busy it was god's plan it was god will and god's doing that we've been able to get here today to officially open the uhuru complex tupigie mbati ya makofi na lazima pia tuwakumbuke wale ambao walikuwa hapa awali ambao wame contribute Kwa jina naitwa Christine Oracha. Mimi ni mkazi wa Dandora Face 4. Na nilikuwa footballer. Na nashukuru sana kwa sababu tumetoka mbali na grau. Tulikuwa nacheza ngapa? Bana mchangi ilikuwa natulemea. Lakini mimi nasema asanti sakaja. Bana tu umetuletea grau fit, umetengeneza grau fit. Na mimi nashukuru tu sana. May the Lord Almighty bless you. Siku zote.
kuna madawati zilikuwa zimevandalizwa zimetolewa kwa mashule mm-hmm. wakati tulikuwa watoto waendi shule nikapata donation na marafiki zangu tukasema acha tupeleke desks madawati tukaenda kwa shule kadhaa but kuna shule moja ambapo nilienda kawaida kwa sababu si mara yangu ya kwanza hata nikiwa na mnete MP nilikuwa natembea nazuru hizi shule wewe ndio ndeka kwa shule kule Kawangware nikauliza watoto mngependa nini kawaida wao husema oh, tununulie sweet ama mpira ya kucheza wengine husema ah tunataka school bus hao watoto waliniambia kitu ambao ilibaki kwa roho yangu sana na kwa akili yangu mm. walisema wanataka chakula kwa mtoto kusema anataka chakula ina maanisha kweli anahitaji chakula nikafanya research nikapata kwamba one out of four children kwa kila watoto wanne mmoja haendi shule Nairobi kwa sababu ya njaa mara nyingi tukifanya eh, intervention ya shida ya njaa serikali huangalia zile counties za northeastern kule ambapo kuna ukame kuna drought haangalii urban poverty mm. lakini katika miji zetu kuu na miji zetu kama Nairobi, Mombasa, Nyeri town, Thika utapata wale ambao wako kwa hali ya chini sana kama Nairobi, Nairobi kama hauna pesa utakosa mali pa ku, kulala na chakula mm. ado unaweza kufa njaa na jirani yako akona karamu akona pati so nikafanya research nikaangalia how do we do school feeding nikaona kule US walikuwa na school feeding act of 1965 wanapewa watoto chakula nikaona Kenya kuna mali tumejaribu kidogo inafanyika ifanyiki kuna pengine ufisadi so nika, nikajaribu kuleta sheria kwa senate haiku ilipita senate lakini haiku haikuendelea baada ya hapo nikaleta kwa nikasema nikiwa governor nitakisha watoto wetu wote wako shule kila siku so nikakuwa governor na mimi ni governor so tukazindua mfumo wa dishi na county so kwa hii dishi na county tayari tumejenga jikoni kumi jikoni moja ina shule ambazo ziko karibu tuko na jikoni Roisambu primary tuko na uh, jikoni kule Njiru primary tuko na Mudhangari tuko na BD primary kule uh, Harambe ward uh, Buruburu hiyo area tuko na shule Kayole Kayole 1 Uh, tuko na jikoni tuko na toy primary hapa Kibra tuko na jikoni eh, ziko kumi Ruaraka baba dogo primary eh, the many of them ten of them yeah? um, na pia wale ambao tunafanya nao kazi wale tuliprokiwa walikuwa wamejenga jikoni kubwa sana hapo in the area um, ambayo hiyo jikoni inatoa 60000 plates zetu zinatoa 10 to 15000 plates so kwa sasa kila siku kwa shule watoto 184000 leo hii wanapata chakula kwa shilingi tano peke yake. Tumeona idadi ya watoto wameongezeka na wanatumia sasa hii saa wanaiva. Mm. Kwa hisa tukitap inaitwa tap to eat. Ukitap tunaona kama mzazi ameweza kuweka hiyo shilingi tano mm. ama kama hajaweza. Kama hajaweza. Kama hajaweza tumepata ufadhili kwa mfano eh, wakati wa climate summit Africa climate summit nilipeleka waziri wa eh, minister for state wa eh, Ufaransa mm. anaitwa Crisula nimpeleka Olympic Primary aliona watoto wanakula akacheza nao alifry akanipatia 1 million euros kufadhili wale ambao hawezi kwa food mm. kwa sababu hakuna siku nitakubali mtoto akiwa kwa line ya chakula atolewe so sisi kama county tunafanya subsidy kwa hiyo chakula si shilingi tano shilingi tano hata sitapati moja mm. chakula ya uang around 45 shillings kwa sababu tunafanya mass Yeah, so one kitchen ina pick up chakula nyingi sana. Um, Tuesday ambayo inakuja kesho kutwa tunazindua jikoni zingine. Kuna three ground breaking zone, Donom Primary, Umojawan Primary, kule Mutuini Primary, um tukuna tuk, 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 Mukarara kule Waidhaka, but tunafanya Mutuini Primary pia. Um, tunafanya Zawadi Primary kule Kiambio, uh, Isili South uh, uh, Ward. Um, so another seven kitchens ambazo tunajenga ili by next term tuweze ku walisha watoto wote. Mm. Kwa sasa ni 184,000. Vile tulianza watoto walikuwa wanakula 250,000. Um, au rather walikuwa 250,000 kwa mashule zetu. Vile tu, vile waliona kuna chakula wamepanda sasa ni 310,000 children ambao wanakuja kwa shule sasa. Mm-hmm. Enrollment is 100%. Attendance 100%. Discipline imepanda hali ya juu. Watoto ukiona kwa line hawakati line wamesimama wana furaha. Wanatoka shuleni tunawapatia 650 grams. Hawamalizi chakula 
wanabakisha kidogo wengine wanapeleka nyumbani kwa sababu hapo awali ilikuwa watoto wanakuja na, na, na chakula wengine hawana wale uko nao supu na mwaga kwa vitabu wale hawana wanajifanya wako nayo ili wasichekelewe na wengine lunch time wanaenda kujificha kokona na lunch box iko na mawe ama iko na tu kitu tu wanajifanya anakula hawezi concentrate kwa darasa sasa leo una kitu kwa tumbo hakuna kitu itaingia hapa mm. wengine wanaambia ende lunch wanapata kuna lunch shuleni nyumbani hawarudi shuleni missing a third so for that tumefurahi sana but kuna tuko na shida ukienda kawele one eh, kwa mfano utapata wamejenga sasa darasa ya mabati kwa sababu watoto wamekuwa wengi sana so tulikubaliana na rais na nafurahi sana because he has kept his promise akatoa 1 billion through wabunge wetu 17 wote wanajenga sasa madarasa. Mm. So hao watafanya 1000 classrooms this year, si tumeka 500 million kwa supplementary yetu, tufanye 500 za ECD, hao fanye za primary school na na JSS I think. Um, kila mwaka tutatengeneza darasa zingine 1500. Jo shida imekuwa Nairobi. Kwa population yetu kubwa na constituency 17, tumekuwa tuna shule 210. Maeneo mengine ukiuliza wabunge, utapata mbunge kutoka kaunti nyingine ako na shule mia moja ama sabini ama themanini mm. kwa constituency moja. Rais alitumbea akiwa mbunge Eldoret North, alikuwa na zaidi ya shule 154 kwa one constituency. Mm. Kwa sababu from the 90s Nairobi hatukuongeza hizo shule because of poor planning. Na ndio maana sisi tunafanya size Nairobi Vision 2050. Because in 2050 Nairobi itakuwa na watu milioni kumi nukta tano how will you take care of those people wataishi wapi watakula nini watapata maji wapi hata kwa sasa mambo ya maji tumezingatia kabisa na nitazungumza juu hayo mm. lakini kwa elimu kuna mambo ya dish na county how sustainable mwashwa extremely itakuwaje uh, mwaka moja miaka miwili miaka hadi miaka tano hadi utaweza utaweza kushikilia hadi yesu arudi kwa sababu what we are doing tumeweka sasa regulations tumepeleka kwa county assembly ya Nairobi hizo regulations zitatupatia a governance structure kuwe na board ya school feeding ambao tutaita tutaweka waihura Mike Njenga tuweke mtu wa safari kwa private sector tuweke auditors tuweke secretariat wewe kama Mike kama unapenda watoto unaweza tuma mpesa ya moja ishikilie mtoto kwa siku kadhaa you can adapt a child for a month watu wa Nairobi na wa Kenya ni watu wazuri wana roho nzuri wanataka kusaidia ni vile hawajaambiwa utasaidia utasaidia vipi so with the good heart of Kenyans na pia si, si mnatulipa ushuru because so far mimi 1.7 billion kuna ile ya, ya, ya kujenga hizo jikoni ilikuwa 500 tumejenga kumi tayari zinaonekana ukiziangalia jameni naunga tukifungua ile baba dogo mheshimiwa hapo kajoang alikuwa anasema wow is this a government building mm. na ni aibu sana sasa kwa shule zetu the best building ni jikoni ni kama watu wanakuja kula sio kusoma lakini kama hebu ni kuuliza 1.7 billion shillings una nimekuwa gari ya sun yes Umeona hivyo? It is important. 1.5 1.7 billion times 5. Yes. Times 5 years. Times 5 years. Yeah. That's around 9 billion. Around 9 years. Yeah. Yeah. That was kupatia tu watoto uh, hey. food. Na unauliza, hili ni swali. Ni swali? Ni swali sawa. <laughs> Because we have 17 constituencies. Yes. Kama si build classes boy. Si ni kwa sababu nimeangalia, nimeuliza, nikasikia unawapatia maharage na na mshele. Mchele, maharagwe, maharagwe zingine kuna eh, sio mimi inaitwa aje eh kama ndeko sawa ration dengu sawa but for 9 billion shillings yeah. ugefanya nini kwa awamu yako kwa sababu wengine wanasema yeah. waje nikusomea hapa kuna mmoja ametuandikia yeah. msikiza eh, swali liko hapa kuna watu wanakosoa mpango wako wa kurisha wanafunzi hapa jijini Nairobi wanadai kuwa hitaji kubwa la wanafunzi ni miundo msingi na kupendekeza pesa hizo zitumike kufanikisha hilo kwa mfano like building classes wanadai kuwa mradi huo ni wa kibinafsi wa kutaka kukunufaisha kisiasa sasa hawa bao wana ukosoa utawaambia nini waendelee kukosoa kama hujai lala njaa hawezi elewa ile furaha wa mama wetu na hata wa baba wazazi wako nayo kuna hasla ambaye ni mtu wa mjengo ama mama wa kufua akitoka hajui kama atapata hiyo kazi ama hatapata lakini kila siku anajua at least mm. mtoto wangu atakula hata stress umepunguza ya huo mtu human capital development asset yetu kubwa kama taifa ni watu wetu na kubwa haswa ni watoto wetu 
Tukijenga hiyo miundo msingi na kuna mtu akuja kusoma hapo. Nani atasoma? Feeding children yo I think hata ni kazi ya ni, ni Biblia nasema James 127. True religion that God considers blameless and praiseworthy is taking care of widows and orphans in the time of need and keeping yourself from being polluted by the world. Hakuna kitu muhimu zaidi kuliko kuangalia watu. Hiyo hata nafikiri ni zaidi hata kuliko barabara. Because hawa watoto wetu tutajenga barabara na, na kama hakuna watu. Who will, who will do it? Like, lakini swala ni swala ni governor watu wanakuuliza. Yeah. You know 9 billion. Kwa sababu mm. watakuuliza hilo mm. 2027. Ya kwamba kwa nini huku jenga madarasa ama quick quick hospitals because tot, some total is 9 billion shillings. Budget yetu ni 42 billion kila mwaka. 42. Hiyo nani unasema ni miaka tano. 1 out of 42 billion for our future is a is the best investment you can make. Yeah? One out of 42 billion. Our budget is 42 billion per year. Na pia bado nimesema tunajenga hayo madarasa. Nimesema pia tunajenga miundo msingi. We can do both. We can chew gum and walk. Mm. Si ati tukilisha watoto hatujenga madarasa. In fact, kwa miaka kumi Nairobi hii, bursaries zile ambazo tumepewa watoto wetu. Unajua imekuwa pesa ngapi for 10 years? Tumekuwa na magavana. Kulikuwa na gavana Ivan Skidero, kumekuwa na Sonko, kumekuwa na Kananu, kumekuwa na NMS, General Badi, kumekuwa na hata speaker. Eh, Lacha alishikilia kwa muda. In 10 years walitoa bursary ya bilioni tatu. So you have In government. one year, uh-huh. eh, wamekuwa imekuwa na mambo mingi. In one year tayari nilitoa 1 billion kwa bursaries. Bursary zilikuwa 4 million per ward. Natoa 7.5 million. Sikuizi Nairobi watu wanapata bursary first term, second term na third term. Hakuna kaunti nyingine kuna hiyo. The first term wanapata 2.5 per ward million. Mm-hmm. Second term 2.5 per ward million. Third term eh, 2 million. Sasa hizi tuko na 104,000 children ambao wanalipiwa bursaries. Niko zaidi ya hiyo governor scholarship 3,600 children na plus 1,500 mwaka huu ambao wanawalipia form 1 hadi form 4 ni mawapatia school fees kazi ya mzazi ni mawaidha tu mambo yote yengine tumechikilia you want to tell me that about invest it's the best thing you can do for our children Lakini, that is the future mm. our watoto mm. hata sasa ukiona kwa barabara siku za shule hakuna watoto wamepungua wanaenda kwa shule wengi watakuja shule kwa sababu ya chakula lakini wakiwa hapo wanapata maarifa that is the best investment if you don't do it nairobi hii in 5 10 years wala ukora watakuwa kwa hii mji watakuwa wengi sana education is a equalizer wengi wetu na watu wengi na wajua wako mahali wako kwa sababu tu ya elimu many people didn't know your dad or your or Mike Njenga mm-hmm. your way you're sitting because somebody took a chance on you ukienda shule na labda kama huko kuzaliwa Nairobi kule nyumbani kuna social kuna community kuna harambe mingi zinafanywa watoto huku mji jameni shamba ya mawe mm-hmm. kila mtu akopeke yake kila mtu anatafuta mm-hmm. unga okay so the government must take care of its people and that is one of the programs i'm most proud of na ingekuwa ni siasa 9 billion can do many things ya kunifanya kuwa popular yeah 9 billion ningesema wacha nigawe watu pesa nitengeneze kafani tu ya kupea watu wafurahi 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 hawa watoto wapigi kura sikikuwa hawa watu wapiga kura in 5 years sikikuwa hasra hawa watu hiyo hiyo ni maradi ya national government hiyo yangu na sababu sikikuwa na county government hasra fund sisi tuko na biashara fund na biashara fund yetu regulation sasa zimekuja It's a very good model. What has happened? Eh? Tulisema banks na other lord mezunguza na rais tukila lunch eh? tukitoka kanisa. Akasema be careful eh, tupange mzuri ili ili banks to regulate vile wanapeana. Kazi ya bank ni kupeana loan, si ndio? Mm-hmm. Kanatibu. Ni huko kanatibu. Sasa ni kwa dia pia tukiangalia mm-hmm. interest tuipunguze hiyo single digit na tu guarantee hiyo loan with 100 million shillings wanatupatia 1.5 billion. Na hiyo 1.5 billion. Tunatafuta tujie hapa Roisambu. Tunajua hii biashara ni ya mama Njeri. Hii ni ya mama Wafula. Tunajua anafanya biashara tayari. Huwa kuna kinyozi. Huwa kuna boda boda. We fund those existing businesses to grow. That is the model we want to employ in every constituency and every ward. We must try with our people. Mm. Because ni pesa ambayo tunatoa. Na wale wako nayo wajue if you don't take care of these people, let me tell you wakikosa kitu ya kula watakuja watu kule we must take care of these people so it's, a, it's an investment ambao mimi ina, i'm so proud of it jamani one day i invite you okay simuko denis brits mm. and then is in george's primary uangalie tu hawa watoto 
unakula hiyo una stress unakula hiyo food hiyo utakula ni tamu have you eaten i eat i have many i eat with those children i go i, I wish not for know. cameras i go i go so many times more than the ones you've seen because i don't always go in a, with a camera sengi ni kuko office naambia watu ngojeni ni saa 8 i mean uh, i mean uh, midday darudi saa 8 okay i just drive myself i go to a school nakana watoto tunacheka tunakula okay. they are so happy but the most important thing unajua nini mm. those children feel loved okay ati kuna serikali inawajali kuna mtu mimi watoto wangu wanakula chakula nyumbani ya yeah, watoto wako labda mm. but kuna mzazi kuna mzazi anafikiria mtoto mwingine na anakula kila siku hii ukitoa ah watoto watandamana hapo watakuja social <laughs> media ama wakuje kwa ofisi yako they love it it's a blessing yeah. so in education is very serious okay. about uh, na tuko na partnership agreement na national government uh, pia kuwasaidia okay. kwa areas za tofauti kwa zamani Nairobi ilikuwa inapeana mamlaka yake mamlaka yake iende kwa national government sasa hivi tunaomba hapana hii watatuwasaidia we can do this better and it is working na lazima iwe work mm. leo katika uh, pale mlipokuwa na rais yeah. e, ulitoa declaration mm. ukasema kulingana na uchumi na mali na robi inaelekea uh, haitakuwa hatuna uh, uh, mashamba ambayo tutaweza kuwa tukijenga ukasema twende juu mm. watu wengine wanasema hii ni roadside declaration mm wengine wanauliza eh, eh, urbanization itakuwa vipi ukisema eh, 25 floors and above mm. siji kidogo tuelezee ulikuwa unamaanisha nini okay. ambapo uliposema sasa tuanze kwenda juu wengine wanasema kilelesho iko hapa lavington iko hapa mm. eh, hujui kama kesho asubuhi watamka utajipata kotini yeah. <laughs> no kotini kawaida eh, na tuko na makesi mingi you know Nairobi ni square kilometers 696 696 square kilometers um, a big part of it ni national park um, population ya Nairobi imekuwa ina ongezeka in fact ukiangalia globally urbanization by 20 uh, 30 65% of the world's population itakuwa katika miji yetu Nairobi haitapanuka I may you know awezi mwaga maji ime kita mm. eh? mm. <laughs> to 696 unless kiambua tugawe kidogo na machakos na kadiado but Nairobi is like that um hakuna mashamba ya kuongeza lazima tutwende juu as has been done in many parts of the world hiyo 25 floors ilikuwa tu mfano kwa area moja si ati Nairobi nzima hapo mm. hapo uh, Isili Airbus so sio road to declaration kumekuwa na procedure ambayo ilikuwa ime, imeanza hapo awali hata kabla niwe governor ambapo waliangalia development control regulations na land use planning. Unajua shida ambayo tumekuwa nayo Nairobi, the last Nairobi urban master plan ilifanywa 1976. After that kumekuwa na to plan tudogo tudogo ikakalminate na the biggest process inaitwa new plan. But new plan ilitupatia ile framework ya njia ya tutapanga Nairobi. So baada ya new plan ilikuwa tufanye local area plan ya area hii kilesho itakuwaaje. Area hii airport north itakuwaaje. Area hii you know different areas Um, wakati wa NMS walijaribu wakafanya tender ya hiyo urban planning but haikufaulu sasa tumepata hela 60 million dollars uh, through what we call millennium challenge corporation ambaye sasa watatusaidia tufanye localized area plans so tukatengeneza um, land use up, uh, planning policy tumetengeneza development control guidelines ambazo tumepeleka kwa assembly wacha 25 kuna area ambayo tutaenda namba 75 plus wapi hapo kuna areas kama eh, CBD Upper Hill Ngara tukija area area you know area hizi ambazo ziko in the middle of the center of mm. the city um, kuna areas zitakuwa 50 floors kuna area tutabaki tu vile ziko um, kama hizo ma you know some areas kama Runda Lavington Mulaiga Karen um, ta, kuna areas tutakubali single housing uh, dwellings kuna ma area ambazo kwa mfano kama mmekubaliana mmetengeneza estate na kwa hiyo estate kama Buruburu ama sauti ama pale fulani kwa estate yenu katikati nyumba zenu ni gorofa moja hata kubali basi mtu aje atengeneze apartments ya gorofa 20 ama hata ine yeah because you have a controlled regulation within a, a gated community within, within a gated community okay um ile concern ambayo watu wamekuwa nayo na, na tunasema that is also being looked at na tunafanya na tumepata pesa yeah <laughs> ni sasa hawa watu wakija wote siwa itakuwa namna gani maji itakuwa namna gani 
Um, tumepata hela kutoka AFDB Africa Finance uh, Development Bank. Um, pia tumepata from the French Development Agency kuna 12 billion na 8 billion. Um, tangalia 2024 25 uh, wameka tayari 6.5 billion ya ku expand CIO network na pia mambo ya maji. Yeah? Uh, mambo itakuja. Such that watu waweze kuishi vizuri. You know hauta kutengeneza slum tena vertical slums mm. you know so see it in roadside declaration it's something we've looked at tumeangalia best practice lakini unajua shida kuna watu wa aina mbili number one kuna wale wamezoea vile mahali imekuwa kwa muda mrefu yeah so labda baba yako ama you know alikuwa na shamba pahali ilikuwa one acre hizo plot zilikuwa za serikali zamani za railways zingine hata unajua hata si hako nunua walichukua tu wengine walinunua lakini ni yao si ndio mm-hmm. so umezoea mazingira hayo yakiwa hivyo tu na kuna watu hutaki hutaki watu wengine waje hapo hutaki ibadilike it is very natural if the event is not a commercial property it's a private well, property but if it's private and commercial yeah i can show you a photo of my house myself eh yeah. umetuonyesha hapo kwangu zimeonesha pita karibu hapo Dennis Street kwangu Dennis Street mm. pale nimeishi kutoka 2015 yeah nikiwa mbunge sasa hizi kwa compound yangu na apartment na yangalia kuna wengine tunaangaliana tunasalimiana but it's, it's, I, I, if i want a place yenye nitaka kuoneka eh kama yangu paliko sasa hizi mm-hmm. sitabidi tu nihame inahitaji change of user kwa mfano kama i have a single dwelling yeah. in kirereshwa yes. lavington lazima uwe na single dweller so uh, change of user but i can sue county for oh. same mimi like now in china yeah. kuna watu huwa wanakataa barabara inapita ina kando yeah, sasa mean, kwa mfano ni kuna plot hapa Yeah. na county amesema niende lakini nimekataa no zeze mau uende lakini jirani yako anazotaka anazotaka ku, kujenga mm. so kuna procedure mm. ambayo huo eh, jirani yako kwanza ataapply by the way tukisema hata hapa tunakubali 50 acres eh, 50 floors ama 25 mm. hamanishi tu tumesema lazima tutaapprove tuta kila mtu kutakuwa na spatial planning yes na kutakuwa na public participation kwa mfano uh, talk about runda yes is it bomb hizi runda runda ni ni geta for single dwelling, single dwelling. kuna you know? wengine wame kama kuna mwingine ali, ali apply alikuwa anataka kujenga commercial property runda tulikataa we said no that is not the character so kuna kuna other factors eh mm. waangalie plot ratio mm-hmm. waangalie eh, the, the ground clearance waangalie port of kujenga beacon to beacon what about Wanda... infrastructure water so like... exactly in fact some of these developers wamesema wako tayari tukiambia hizi no conditions first traffic assessment tuangalie capacity ya uh, siwa wakisema wako tayari hao basi ku increase kutusaidia ku increase kwa hiyo area to connect to the trunk sewer. Mm. Nimepata 2 million euros uh, from Italians um, through Nairobi Water mm. ya Kasarani, Mwiki, Kile City kuongeza hiyo mambo ya sewerage na, na, na water connections, last mile connections yeah? mm-hmm. So ni process inaendelea world over imefanyika. Na what, because the source so, so structure utaangalia. La, lazima iangaliwe. Unajua kuna engineers, kuna watu unajua nyumba tisi ya unajenga tu mwenyewe. Can we trust council engineers? Govern If you couldn't visit you would have collapsed by now. Nafunuliza kwa sababu city council. Yes. Eh uh, wakishirikiana na Jaika. Yeah. Walifanya kitu inaitwa master plan. New plan. New plan. Yeah, ile nimesema. So hii new plan yeah. ni kurekebisha mtarekebisha ni nyingine mtakuja yeah. mtakuwa nayo. This is a continuation of a new plan. So what new plan ilifanya iliangalia the history of the city it started with city council wakati wa uh, anaitwa Wazi alikuwa town clerk kisia um, ikachukuliwa na with the new county government wakaangalia transport waka propose BRT kwa mfano size juzi tu uh, kuna 70 million euros ambayo European Investment Bank wamesema wanatupa kama Nairobi um, for line 3 kuna line 1 ile ya Thika Road ambayo national government wameka pesa kuna line 4 eh, kuna line ya Jogoro ambayo ilikuwa haina mfadhili mm. eh, rafiki yetu wa kinumi ya Desina wa Africa Development Bank amesema anakuja kufadhili mm. so that was the new plan told us what now to do including the master plan of Nairobi mm. yeah mm. so what we are doing is part of it always ingia tu useme forget kila kitu imefanywa mbeleni mm. mimi mimi ndio nilikuwa na maarifa nani so the, the spatial planning yes yes we we have, we have the, the geospatial plans for the city yeah it's already there is it it's already there kuna mapping ambayo imefanyika So what we're doing we're building on that aerial planning and the geospatial kufanya localized area plans to say me Woodley for instance yeah um, county government to kuna around 100 acres say so what is now the plan for Woodley yeah tunafanya urban renewal tumepata contractor anajenga manyumba kwanza kuna kwa mfano 42 houses ambazo zitatupatia 1975 units mm. yeah pale tumekuwa leo bahati 
nimoelezea bahati tuko na three lots the, the entire bahati estate ya city council ya county government ni yetu manyumba ni zetu za county government kuna nyumba 417 four seventeen houses zatupatia 9488 houses yeah? the first lot ambayo tunafanya kuna watu 249 wanaishi hapo 249 those 249 houses give us 3000 houses nice houses atujengi tu vitu tumeonesha tu, na wananchi wataangalia design waone okay this is what you're talking about for in the past public public kuna, imekuwa inafanyika but i don't like how it was done before so kwa mfano nimekaa na eh, wakazi wa Woodley nika, nikaweka kwa screen nikasema angalieni hivi ndio nyumba itakuwa indoor design na na ningependa watu wasikize vizuri sana kwa makini kila mtu ambaye amekuwa kwa nyumba ya county ya yeah? hmm. juzi tume, tumelelewa Nairobi tunaelewa hiyo nyumba kuna wana kadi hiyo kadi ilikuwa ya babu wako alikuwa anafanya kanzo ama alipata hiyo kadi unapata sasa inaenda kwa mtoto wake ama nephew or niece zinakanga tu kwa familia tu zinakaa na kwa hiyo miaka yote wamekuwa wanalipa whether ni Jericho whether ni Marish Maringo je, eh, you know Lumumba hmm. Bahati whatever it is eh? Kariubangi so wao watu sio wamekuwa wanalipa na kama nyumba mbili na kumi na saba zitatupatia nyumba 1988 mbona nilipisha hawa watu tena so ile mlikuwa mnalipa i'll take it as that was your mortgage mnapata nyumba yenu we will give you a brand new house tumesema hakuna kuvunjia mtu nyumba there is no demolition there is no eviction in that in that sense eh? there is no eviction we will house you somewhere temporarily kama ni rent ya kupatia mwaka mmoja au miaka miwili ama for whatever period na kumbuka si nyumba yako ni account okay yeah mm. but out of goodwill uh. and that you have sustained this place kwa hiyo muda mrefu mtarudi mpate nyumba mtakao mnalipa tu service charge peke yake wale wapi wanakuja ndio wataanza either tenant uh, purchase scheme ili unalipa rent unalipa rent kwa baada ya miaka kadhaa unapata nyumba kwa mfano wote nikwambie kahawa kahawa kuna slum inaitwa kahawa so wetu ni slum duni sana ni mbaya na hiyo jina tunataka tuitoe kwa sababu niambie imagine unakaa kwa nyumba size ya hapa hata hii ni kubwa sana. Kati ya wewe na watoto wako ni bedsheet. Inawazuia. Hiyo ni mali ya hadhi ama heshima. Alafu asubuhi bibi yako kwenda kuoga, anaenda huko, kuna line kuna wanaume huko, kuna nini yako na towel. It is not dignity there. Lakini governor, iwapo yeah. Huo mradi hutakuwa umekamilisha. So ile mfano ile mfano nilikwambia na, 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 na usiwe governor 2028. Mm. Yule atakaye kuja labda baada yako aseme tupiri baya. Uh, tu pia bali hii ilikuwa hotelia mwingine. Ah. Asidhani mtu kama kwanza asidhani ati kwa sababu hayo unayo unayo, unayo yataja yeah. utayakamilisha kabla ya uchaguzi. Yeah, ni 18 months 36 months. Na hata leo nimepata rais mfano. Naomba kwa mfano hiyo ya kahawa so wetu. Hizo nyumba ni 817 houses only. Tukiwajengea one uh, development hapo kamiti in less than 36 months. Okay. Tunaweza kutoa hiyo salamu yote watu wengine kwa hizo manyumba alafu hapo tujenge it is very possible that way na, na freely kazi anafanya because mm-hmm. tena huyu jamaa tu wa FDB anambia ni rafiki yangu anambia sakaja nyinyi wa Kenya mtaamua amwezi kuwa namba 1 kwa marathon na pia namba 1 kwa slams mchague mmoja na najua atachagua slams it has been done before look at Kigali Rwanda imefanyika yeah na sasa rais kuna pesa we have more than 30 billion kwa housing fund you know so here band ndio letu ya Nairobi we are doing six estates na tutapata partner pia na national government ni jambo la muhimu sana na zaidi ya hiyo kazi ambayo vijana wetu wanapata okay. hizo nyumba zinajengwa na nani hizi madirisha hapo Thika Road katikati ya eh, Madhari Mento na Utalii hiyo shamba mnaona hapo najenga our county aggregation industrial park ambao naleta machines common user machines ya kujenga milango dirisha you know all this furniture kutakuwa na showroom mnaangalia unapita unachukua these things we sitting on easy zimejengwa na vijana wetu these are not imported hii ni vijana wetu wa Nairobi wametengeneza. Kwa hiyo vijana wa Kongongoro, wale wako Kampunji, wale wako eh, Huruma, yeah? wale wako Landis Road. They have the ability hawajapatiwa nafasi na hizo machines za kuchonga sasa details. Sasa una import kitanda kutoka USA. Sasa kwa hayo yote. Yeah. Taka. Jiji na. So, kwanza hiyo umeelewa kwanza hey, nimeelewa. Nimeelewa lakini hey, hatujamalizana vizuri. <laughs> Tumalizane kwanza unajua ni muda. Ni muda. Ni muda. Okay. Mm. Kuna, kuna taka. Yes. Tatizo ndio tatizo kubwa imekuwa hivi. Um, kwa mwaka mmoja na nusu tumekuwa kwa ofisi. Tuliangalia what the problem had been. Watu ambao hufanya kazi ya kuokota takataka Nairobi yetu walikuwa wachache sana. 
mara ya mwisho wao kuandikwa ilikuwa in the 80s yeah? so unapata mahali kama Embakasi East kutoka mihangu utawala mpaka Donholm mpaka toka kuna mama watatu pekee na tayari wanaenda kuretire ndio walikuwa wafagie hiyo area yote so the manpower was not there alafu mambo yatake ikakoto sasa ni biashara unalipa mtu pesa juu ile kilo analeta dandora kwa dump site tukasema lazima tupadilishe kwanza tulifanya tuka tukaandika vijana kazi 2500 wameingia kazi inaitwa green army na kwa unaishi Nairobi najua umewaona kila siku wako kwa mitaro yetu wanachimba mitaro wanafungua wanatoa de, wana, wanatoa takataka zinachukuliwa na lori zetu tumenunua hizo malori pia equipment tumenunua na tunazidi kuongeza fact that we can have a system kila siku tunajua mimi nikiwa mtoto nimezaliwa hapa Tungara eh? tulikuwa na ile inaitwa Kamero ilikuwa inakuja siku mbili kwa wiki tunajua takataka tunatoa Thursday na tunatoa tena Tuesday kwa sababu ya weekend yeah? kabla hizo siku tunaweka ndani na pia sisi watu wa Nairobi tuwe na responsibility kuna siku niko mahali kwa soko acha niseme ni wapi <laughs> sasa watu na waonea Alafu kuna mama kaniuliza anauza machungwa e, mandizi na maembe Akaniuliza sasa governor hii takataka yote kumbele yangu kwa nini? Kamwangalia nikaangalia takataka ni pills maganda ya machungwa, mandizi na maembe ambayo yeye ndo anauza. Anauzia mtu anamkatia anachonga iko hapo. Kama wewe mwenyewe hautaangalia mbele ya duka yako ama pale unauza. Ukiwa kwa matatu utupe banana nje. Utasema ni zakaja. We mazoto unajua tunasonga kutoka haki yetu tunaenda kwa wajibu wetu. Let us do our part. Au masibio za ambao shida imekuwa illegal dumping. Unapata kama isili tu umeclear leo, papi yote. By jioni for us, watu wamelipa hao vijana wetu wa mkokoteni wamemwaga katikati ya barabara. It can't work like that. Mm. So something we are working on to me invest kwa vijana na tume invest kwa equipment. Na sasa Nairobi watu wa Nairobi sasa wanaanza kuona areas tofauti uko na clean up. Vijana nimeona clean up isili, nimeona clean up watu wanajitokeza. But I wanted first to have the equipment and the manpower na wengine elfu moja wameongezeka green army. Na kazi zimepatikana Nairobi. Constables wengine elfu moja wameingia. CHP 7480 ambao wanalipwa hela wameingia. So we must return Nairobi to the green city under the sun. Na ile project nimefurahia sana ya Nairobi Rivers Commission. Na tumekaa juzi tena na hiyo commission pamoja na rais. Ni mambo ya mito yetu. Kusafisha mito yetu. Inchi nyingi sana mito ndio mali wanataka kwenda ukae. Kuna restaurant hapo. Ni mahali ambayo ni safi. But in Kenya it has become the opposite. So lazima Nairobi itakuwa safi and lazima itawaka. Mm. So mara nyingi unapata kama kama eh, ukiana mudhurwa baada ya siku mbili ile takataka lazima ichukuliwe kila siku. Lazima tuzidi kuweka mafuta ili lori iweze kuja ichukue takataka. Ukienda Bama unaona siku mbili sa, tatu ni safi takataka ina, ina accumulate siku mbili juu ya mafuta kutokuwa. So that is what we are working on those systems to make sure the city is actually clean and it will be. We must do it na lazima iwe concerted effort. Mm. Kati yetu tuwe. Naam. Naam. Kwanza kuwind up. Oh. Hey, Ndambo na mas kuwind up. Kwanza kumalizia lakini uh, tukimalizia. Hili jambo la eh, pombe haramu mm. na mihadarati. Naona pia kuna mali kunaitwa ni mutwine. Yes. Wamepiga kelele sana wanasema eh, madawa ya kulevya huko yamekuwa ndio eh, jambo la kila siku. Je, tukimalizia manake eh, ni kumalizia tunamalizia. Uh, madawa ya kulevya na pombe haramu sijui wewe kama gavana wa Nairobi unapigana na hili jambo namna gani uh, tumekuwa tukiona deputy president pia mm. ambao katika hii harakati wanasaidiana mm. kivipi kuna jamaa anaitwa alikuwa carpenter ukule la Great South anaitwa Dan amekufa juzi kuna ndugu wawili ambao na, naona wanazikwa Tuesday kuna Njoroge na Kamuyu ni brothers kule Waidhaka wamekufa in fact last week kulikuwa na matanga kila siku katika e, waidhaka na na mtuini kuna um, jamaa anaitwa anaitwa waje nickname yake najua anaitwa Ferguson pombe kuna kesi hizo roisambo sumu tusiti hata pombe ni sumu illicit brews na ningependa wasikilizaji wetu na wale wanatazama tujiulize swali kwa nini Nairobi ni area fulani inafanyika mm. na ile ya mlima Kenya na lazima tuanze kuangalia on top of wanauza juu kuna mambo si tumefanya kama county zinatoka wapi hizo factories zinajulikana kuna zile zinafanya kazi ya kawaida unaweka kazi ya basi mbaya yeah? na tumetoa zoning guidelines ya unaweza uza wapi na uuze sangapi na uuze nini 
lakini hii sumu ambayo ina, ina, inauwa mm. yeah where is it coming from nilitoa mm. idhini eh, juzi wines and spirits mm. ambazo ziko kwa burst terminus na wines and spirits mingi zinabadilika zinakuwa ba ni wine and spirit unajua inafaa kuende mahali unanunua unaenda kama utaki kwenda kwa ba unanunua unaenda unatumia nyumbani unapata mtu ameka kiti moja leo kisha kuna viti viwili tena kuna mziki inakuwa full bar hizo tumepiga marufuku wala unauza hiyo simu hiyo sumu tumekubaliana na eh, polisi wetu na chiefs wetu we going to eradicate it in mutwini kuna mahali hapo inaitwa jwakali grounds nyuma ile soko ambayo tunajenga mutwini na tunajenga masoko mingi ndio watu wetu ni watu wa kufanya biashara na kama county tuna support biashara tumekuwa na maombi juzi nyama kima juu ya biashara to support it lakini hata tukijenga hiyo soko tukaambiwa kuna vijana hapo around 300 hivi wako addicted to heroin na wanakueleza kuna gari huleta hiyo heroin hapa inakuja siku hii inakuja siku hii ukiulizana unafikia kuna kigogo fulani mm. tunaomba kweli wananchi tushirikiane mm. we want business to go on mm. tunataka kama una, uko na business ya bar ama restaurant fanya vizuri na uuze kitu nzuri hii unataka utajiri at the expense of people's lives we will not allow it in Nairobi mm. na hiyo vita lazima tushirikiane mm. lazima tushirikiane bado we will not allow and it is very unpopular politically unajua kuna wasema atafanya vitu vya siasa hiyo si popular kwa siasa but i will not allow us to lose our entire generation of Nairobians kasarani tuko na shida kubwa sana na nafurahia na MC wangu Sam Kago na mmemzizo wa hapo akina Heho wa wa wa, wa, wa njiru yeah. akina akina Karis wa Ruai mm. you know akina Samora wa hapo Clay City wanafanya hata Jasho ambaye amekuwa na shida wanafanya kazi nzuri no. yeah Roy Sambu the same kina Clemo you know kina Dionysius they doing a good job our liquor board kina Nyangi wanafanya kazi nzuri sana but we find political interference tunasema hata kubali interference okay. but we must protect our people na lazima niwaambie asante no. na tunachunga biashara unajua time imeenda so mnafaa mnitange kwanza <laughs> kwanza ambia kama huwa kanyethe amenitupa sana huyo yeah. governor futiti itafiki anize ita... pia nije tuzungumze because Nairobi is important but lazima i work we must make Nairobi work wiki ijayo lazima tukupange uko uh, governor futiti i'm always available asante 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 nashukuru yeah. sana sana yeah. sana tulikiria yeah. huko yeah. na wakikuu na wakikuu wali kupiga kura ni rege nyumba ni rege rege ni urata wanyu. <laughs> Asanteni yeah. sana for that brotherhood and that friendship. Mm -hmm. Na pale tunafanya kitu vibaya, mtueleze. Asante. Na pale tunafanya pia vizuri, mweze yeah. kutueleza ili tuweze ku improve. No one is perfect. Mm -hmm. And we all doing our best for people. Asante. Ni gado ni gemo no 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 no. Tokure kiria hau eh jamba ya wera, ni juro sio wekoro sine tene. Eh rocio eh kidai no tafadhali to yake mrachu ka corona professor Peter Kagwaja na daktari Kavigwa Chirawadayo toka ramao to mara mara ati na bethe ino athe na goku furori ni state of the nation asanti asanti gado nyige muno nyuo the mwako lo mwetu tumira sms ya nyuo the mwako mukera media naidwe to tikuogerera kana turutarute tuma na governor sakaja mwetaga ido aboi ne gado nyige muno 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 ido aboi ne jwe no to guthie na bere na gukoro tukimwita na we governor uri onge wo the okwenda gukoro ukiunanira njungu na idwe ido to tayari guka na tumenye uri account yaku eikarite murarie thayo rushurushi ni mugyo kira guthie na bere na mihango yanyu Mugiro le mago kumi ana kia jova gai amura adime. Dabo soki studio kure na kia wagesi etari muno watu he mohoro kuma meda inesito si amohoro. facilities because our intention in the social halls is to equip this social hall as well as the others with modern state of the art equipment kwa sababu najua hapa 